Welcome to the MESA Public Schools Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools here with us this evening. My name is Danielle and I will be your facilitator throughout the session. Before we get started, I have a few housekeeping items to share with you. Your camera and microphone are off, so the presenters cannot see or hear you. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type questions throughout the session at any time. This is just one of many different sessions that are taking place tonight, so be sure to check the schedule on the website. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. I'd now like to turn it over to our first presenter, Southern Illinois University. Hello everyone, I am Julie Strauss and I'm with Southern Illinois University. We are actually, if you picture the state of Illinois, we are five and a half hours south of Chicago. So it's absolutely a gorgeous area surrounded by the Shawnee National Forest. We have over 10,000 undergraduate students on campus, about 13,000 with our graduate students, and we have over 100 countries represented. We have about a 13 to one student to teacher ratio. So that's a beautiful experience for you. And you actually can even get started in research opportunities from the very beginning as a freshman, if you choose to. It's a wonderful experience that you can do actually as a freshman. We have many opportunities in study abroad, university honors program, we have disability support services, many things to offer on campus, including over 300 registered student organizations. So if we don't have what you're looking for, if you build it, we will support you. It's very important for you to get involved and feel like you have a family away from home. Uh, our university housing is um, suite style, and we're told that we have some of the largest residence halls um, in colleges, so it's definitely not home, but it's also larger than a closet, which is a beautiful thing. We have an anytime meal plan, so you can eat as much or as little as you'd like. That's very important to know that you can actually walk out, walk into a dining hall and have something to eat anytime that you please. Uh, transportation, there's plenty of opportunities for transportation. We do allow you to have a car on campus as a freshman, but if you don't, you have free access to our Saluki Express bus, which is, um, it can take you around the campus loop and actually off campus. So it's very important to utilize those services. We have a gorgeous recreation center. It includes an Olympic sized swimming pool, two weight rooms, 10 racquetball courts, basketball courts, a uh, climbing wall. So you use that for um, those activities will make you feel so much better about life. Uh, we have a gorgeous campus lake, about 2.2 mile trail all the way around it. And that's access, accessible to you. You can use your student ID and rent a boat, canoe, paddleboard, whatever you'd like to do. We have a, um, a health service, health services that offers all the opportunities you would need um, while you're staying on campus, whether you use our insurance or you use your family's insurance. And we are NCAA division sports uh, at SIU. We are part of the Missouri Valley Conference and we actually have women's soccer now, which is brand new to us and we're pretty excited. We think that um, investing in our students is very important and we have truth intuitions. We have over 90% of our students receive some form of, um, some form of financial aid assistance if they choose. And there's a, basically our budget 96.38 for your for a year for that includes 30 credit hours and deadlines are important uh, it's important that you get your your um, application in in fact application is free right now I'll repeat that again later uh, until October 31st and the deadline for the Chancellor Scholarship which is the full ride is October 31st so we need to make sure that you are uh, applied and admitted we have your transcripts from your school the scholarships that are listed here, that deadline is July 1st. So you have plenty of time there. And we will also bump you against 600 other scholarships as well. So as I mentioned before, it's very important that you complete an application online. I'll put that in the chat um, because we do have free application fee, but only until October 31st. So that's very important to get that taken care of. We are also on the Common App. I will tell you that our application is a little bit easier than that Common App. And it's important for you to follow our story. Follow us on social media. Give me a call. That's what we're here for is to help you. So if there's anything that I can do for you, feel free to reach out to me and I'll put you my direct phone number in the chat. 
and have a great evening. Thank you. Our next presenter is Augustana College. All right, hello, uh, my name is Wendy Kelly and I am your admissions counselor here at Augustana College. Um, I'm gonna share uh, some information with you uh, but first, I am going to um, tell you a little bit about where we are located. Um, we are uh, in an area known as the Quad Cities. We are right in the middle of the Midwest. Um, so the Illinois-Iowa border, uh, the Quad Cities is a community of about 450,000 people. So we're a smaller school, but we're not in a small town, um, but nor are we in a big city. It's easy to get around, it's affordable. We have an airport about 20 minutes from campus, the Quad Cities International Airport that has daily flights that come in from around the country. Um, some of our stats, we have about 2,500 students here at Augustana and our students that choose Augustana are coming for that full four year college experience. Um, they're not just coming for a, a degree, they want to be able to be involved in extracurricular activities, pursue those passions and also uh, prepare for what comes next, what comes after those four years. Average class size of 18 students means that's going to be small enough that you can raise your hand in class and ask questions, get involved in class discussion. Our student to faculty ratio is important. We only have professors that teach in the classroom. So no graduate students, no teacher's assistants, and the same professors who are teaching you are also your academic advisor. Uh, we're on the larger end of a small school, so we are able to support um, 90 different majors, minors, programs of study, and offer over 150 different clubs and organizations for our students to be involved in. Uh, some of those involvements, about a quarter of our students are involved in performing arts ensembles. You don't have to be a major or a minor uh, to be involved in music or theater or have a show on the school radio station or write for the school newspaper. Uh, about a third of our students are varsity athletes. We are an NCAA Division III school. One of the things that stands out about our athletics um, is our number of academic All-Americans. We're ranked in the top 10 nationwide of over 1,600 NCAA schools. It really is something that points to the balance that our students can have. We have that culture of academics, but we also have uh, that, uh, that support that allows students to, um, to continue with those things that they enjoy in college. Um, we've been able to, to add some newer majors as we're looking towards the, our, our current students and looking towards the, the future of Augustana. And the, the, the college itself is one that is, is very much a community. Our students live on campus through their junior year. Um, you're not gonna know all 2,500 students here, but you're going to recognize faces and you're going to uh, get to know students through those classes, through those activities, through those leadership opportunities that you'll have as a student here. That other part that's important to us, that preparation for what comes next. Um, uh, the vast majority of our students will have an experience beyond the four walls of the classroom before they graduate, and we want them to. Um, we give every student here at Augustana $2,000 to pursue one of those, uh, those dreams, whether it's a a, a trip to Paris during J term or uh, uh, an internship in New York City or a, a research project that they're interested in. We want to support students to be able to have something that, that stands out when they're in their first job interviews or applying to graduate school or medical school, law school. Those are the things that, that help make Augustana students unique. Uh, we have several accolades, of course, um, as, as every college does. One thing that I am particularly proud of is uh, being one of the, the most innovative um, liberal arts colleges in the country. We're actually the first uh, uh, ever named in the, in the state of Illinois, and it's because of our of our initiatives with our, our new academic programs. Um, we've added some, some new athletic uh, um, opportunities for students, new buildings, um, diversity and equity awards as well. So we're very much looking to ways that we can always uh, be uh, looking at the future for our students. I'd mentioned the Quad Cities earlier is, is a great place to go to school, but there's also those opportunities for students to go 
beyond the classroom and do volunteering, job shadowing, um, and getting those job experiences while they're still a full-time student here uh, at Augustana as well. When students apply to Augustana, we are doing a holistic review. So students are, um, are going to be looked at for their, their academics that they've uh, performed in, in high school. We want to look at your extracurricular activities. We want to look at your overall engagement. Um, and generally, students who are admitted to Augustana have a strong B plus average or better. Um, we are test optional. We've actually been test optional since 2007. So this isn't something that's new with the pandemic. It's something that um, we have recognized over time that the students who are successful in the classroom are going to be the students successful at Augustana. And test optional students still are eligible for our academic scholarships. Um, some deadlines that are coming up, uh, November 1st for early decision and early action. Um, uh, students who uh, apply to Augustana can use the, the Augustana application or the Common App. Uh, we have no application fee, and when you apply, we'll have uh, your high school send your transcripts and your secondary school report or your counselor recommendation letter. So that's what we need in order to, to move your application forward. Um, scholarships, you will be considered for scholarships at the, at the time that you apply to Augustana, and we also have scholarships available that you can apply for, um, as well as renewable awards. We do have an out-of-state award uh, for students. And we'd love to meet you and get to know you better. We have a flight reimbursement up to $475 for our students from out of state. So I hope that I will get to meet you in person on campus. Thank you. Wonderful, thank you. Our next presenter is Franklin College. All righty. Howdy, howdy, my name is Kyle Solly. I'm the admissions counselor for Franklin College, or I'm one of them. Um, I'm a 2018 graduate of Franklin, so I spent my four years there. I studied history and political science. I worked in residence life. I was in Greek life. I played on the tennis team. I still help coach the tennis team. Um, so there's not a whole lot of aspects of Franklin that I can't touch on, but at Franklin, we want you to pursue your best self, and we want to be a part of that. Um, just a little bit about Franklin. So we are located in Indiana. We're about 20 minutes south of Indianapolis, which is a really great location for our students. It opens them up to a lot of different internship opportunities, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, but also just a lot of culture um, being that close to Indianapolis, whether it's going up to Pacers or Colts games, going to the museums, going to festivals, um, conferences, you know, anything like that. Um, we're a small school, we've got just over a thousand students. Um, our average class size is around right about 15. Um, so we're definitely student focused. You'll get to know your professors very well. They'll know what you're involved in. They'll know what your time commitments look like, what your professional goals are. And that's a huge help um, when looking for internships. Because hundred percent of students at Franklin are gonna complete an internship or an undergraduate research experience. And most students are gonna complete two or three of those. Um, in their four years at Franklin. I know I had three different internships while I was a student at Franklin. Those helped me get move on and get into grad school. Uh, but another thing we're proud of is our placement rate. 98% of our graduates um, are either in careers or in graduate schools within eight months of graduating. Um, so, you know, we've got a very high success, you know, around Indianapolis, but also more globally. Um, you know, we've got students all over the map, um, whether it be domestic, international, um, things like that. Um, here's just a handful of those employers. I don't want to spend too much time on this because um, most of those companies are central Indiana based, uh, but you can all see those graduate schools that we have students go to um, all over the map ranging from, you know, a lot of a lot here in the Midwest, but also like University of Hawaii, Louisiana Tech, things like that. So we really are um, all across the board and why we're sending students. Um, here's a list of our majors. So take a moment and look at that. Um, see what you're looking for. Um, our main programs, you know, our top programs you see students going to are definitely business, our sciences. We just built a brand new science center, journalism, education. Um, so, you know, those are definitely the ones that we're, we're hitting the hardest on. You know, they all benefit from our location this close to Indianapolis. Um, we do have additional minors, things like that. So you can see you can minor in coaching if you want to be a coach, non-for-profit leadership. Um, as well as those pre-professional tracks are two grad programs, our master's in athletic training, our master's in physician assistant studies. I'm um, in here some of those internship partners that we partner with, like I mentioned. 
Um, so every student's going to complete at least one internship, either during a semester over the summer or in our one month immersive term for the month of January. If you do one of those immersive term internships, you will be at your internship site five days a week for the month of January. Um, so you get a really good feel for what that work week looks like, and you can kind of figure out if you like it or if you don't like it. Um, but you can see, you know, we've got a lot of internship providers. This is just a, a small preview of who we partner with. Um, this is what um, our financial aid looks like. Um, students, once you're admitted, you receive an academic merit scholarship, typically ranging from fifteen to twenty thousand dollars. Um, so I, right off the bat, you can take that total cost and subtract it um, by somewhere between fifteen to twenty thousand um, dollars. That's before we get the fast with things like that, where our um, where our grants, our loans, our work study, things like that come from. Oftentimes, students um, find us to be less expensive than the state schools that they're applying to. Um, so I've worked with a lot of students on making Franklin affordable for them. Um, we do have the Ben Franklin Scholars Program for students who have above a 3.7 GPA. You can earn uh, one of those two full tuition scholarships, um, but that does come with an extra incentive as well for every student who participates in that. Um, we have the Polium uh, Journalism Scholarship for one full tuition scholarship for journalism students. Um, be on the lookout for those deadlines because they are approaching kind of quick, November 15th and um, December 1st. We have 21 different NCAA Division III sports. Like I said, I was on the tennis team. I still help coach both the men and women's tennis teams. Um, Franklin's a great place to be a student athlete. Over half of our campus is student athletes. So our professors are used to working with our coaches. Um, they work, understand what that time commitment looks like, and they're definitely flexible with that. And we also do have a new esports program. Um, so that's something that we're super excited about. We're playing the final touches on their esports arena right now. And we do have a brand new athletic annex coming um, by next year. Um, so by the time you're coming to campus, we'll have a brand new athletic annex with indoor turf facilities for those turf sports. What it takes to get into Franklin, average GPA ranges from 3.0 to 3.9. Uh, um, we've got our ACT and SAT scores on there, but we are test optional. Um, we do a holistic review, so we will look at you know, your transcript, your test scores, any essays, any um, resumes, things like that, any um, letters of recommendation. I always love when I get more materials just because it lets me know my students more because I love to know the students I'm working with. Just want to encourage everyone to apply. We, are, we have our own Franklin College application designed to take you about 20 to 30 minutes. You know, we don't want you spending hours on it, but we also all are on the Common App. Um, I know a couple of our other institutions are on the Common App, so just want to encourage you to apply, um, you know, through us. Here are those deadlines. It was December first for maximum scholarship aid, um, and then just connect with us on social media. I think my time is running out, so I'll go ahead and hand it back over. Just want to say thank you all for for joining. Thank you. Our next presenter is Holy Cross College. My name is Emma Bleasdale and I am with Holy Cross College. We're located in Notre Dame, Indiana, which is in the heart of South Bend, Indiana. Being in Notre Dame, Indiana, um, although we are a small liberal arts school, um, we also have a lot of opportunities, which I'll be able to touch on a little bit later. So we are a liberal arts college. Um, and so that means, as I always tell students, you take a little bit of everything. We have a core that forms our students into scholars, citizens, leaders, and disciples. What that means is you will have a little bit of everything. So you're going to still take your history class, your science class, your math class, as well as those major level courses as you work towards whatever goal you have set. We have academic advisors and mentors that are there for you to support you in achieving those goals. Some of our core curriculum includes the Common Good Practicum in which our students put Catholic social teaching into action. As a Catholic school, you'll take a theology class with us as well as this Common Good Practicum in which you learn about either a local or uh, international community, and then you go out and serve that community. We have service with Our Lady of the Road, which you can see in the presentation slide, um, which has a food pantry and 
uh, cafe for local um, homeless population in South Bend, as well as we go out into the Chicago community as Chicago is only two hours east or west of us in South Bend. We also have a global perspectives course and immersion trips. Uh, we are getting our study abroad up and running once again as well, and those are located in Italy, Ireland, Poland, and um, a few other places. Our professional internship program, 100% uh, of our students will complete a professional internship during their time at Holy Cross. But we don't let you struggle on finding that on your own. We have people on staff whose sole job is to find you internships as well as help you build that resume as well as um, find you things that you're passionate about. So we're not gonna say, okay, just go do this internship because you have to. We're going to work with you and help you find something that you want to do. So maybe uh, that includes you want to shadow a doctor if you're a pre-med student with a biology major or psychology major. You want to go and shadow or be um, present in a doctor's office for a period of time. Then we will find an internship that suits that interest. We also have our senior capstone in which you will be able to present about all of these different um, things that you've learned at Holy Cross to your classmates who you've come to know over the course of your time in undergrad. Our majors and minors are listed here. Our most popular majors are biology, business, and psychology. Uh, our business program is especially interesting and cool right now. We have a graduate pathways program to the University of Notre Dame. We are right across the street from Notre Dame and right next door to St. Mary's College. And that provides a lot of unique partnerships between the three campuses, which we call our tri-campus. Um, one of those unique scholarships is the Driscoll Scholars Program. This is a two-year transfer prep agreement in which um, if you are intended in engineering, you can indicate Driscoll Scholar on your application and it will, uh, we will read through your application and tell us why you want to be a Driscoll Scholar. Tell us why you have this passion for engineering or your STEM major and why you believe um, this two-year transfer prep would be beneficial to you starting at a smaller school of 500 students and then going across to Notre Dame to complete three years left of your undergraduate um, degree in order to receive your degree from Notre Dame. We are a Catholic institution and we are a Catholic um, college for a modern world and so that provides a lot of opportunities for both service, retreats, pilgrimages, um, liturgical choir, sacrament prep, Bible studies, you name it, we have it if it's campus ministry. It's not forced upon anyone, rather it is an opportunity on campus that you are welcome to participate in. We do not have to be Catholic in order to come to Holy Cross, you will just still take that theology class as well as have all of this ministry open to you. Another part of the tri-campus community is you can enroll in classes at St. Mary's College as well as Notre Dame once you are established at Holy Cross College. That's as simple as um, 30 credit hours and a 3.0 GPA. Yes, AP, IB, and dual enrollment credits that come in, we accept them and that will go towards your establishment as a student. You can join student orgs and clubs at any of the three campuses and so that provides over 500 clubs and organizations to our students as well. You can attend athletic events. So anything Fighting Irish to your heart's content, we have, you can go right across the street and get student tickets for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish games, um, as well as anything um, you might want. We also have athletics on Holy Cross's campus. We are NAIA. And so that means that we have um, scholarships available for athletics as well. Um, in addition, you would have access to the world-class facilities at Notre Dame such as our psychology professor brings, is a neuroscientist at Notre Dame who brings students over to Notre Dame to do research in her lab with her. And those graduate pathways are another way that if you complete your undergraduate degree at Holy Cross, you have preferred seating in certain master's programs at Notre Dame. Our early action deadline is November 1st um, for admissions. After that, we have rolling admission and we try to get decisions out every few weeks. February 15th is our big scholarship deadline. So if you would like to apply for our signature scholarships, which are valued at $20,000 every year, please make sure you get your um, scholarship or your application in before then. That is also our financial aid deadline. And so please have your FAFSA filed as well. Thank you so much. And I um, really encourage you to apply. We're on the Common App. And so 
send your application our way and I look forward to getting to know you through that application. Thanks. Thank you. Our next college is St. Mary's College. Hello everyone, my name is Lindsay and I'm your admission counselor at St. Mary's. I just wanna tell you a little bit about background about St. Mary's, who we are, and then a little bit about the admission process at the end. So we have just under 1600 students. You can see a lot of our students come from out of state. We even have six countries represented. So even though we are sm a smaller liberal arts women's college, we actually have quite a rich variety of students from um, a variety of different backgrounds as well. And we were founded in 1844, two years after Notre Dame. We like to talk about the individualized experience quite a bit at St. Mary's. And what that means for you is smaller class sizes. Our average class size is about 16. You can see our student to faculty ratio of nine one up there. And we actually have about 60 plus academic programs, majors, minors, and concentrations now to choose from. So some of our more unique majors are are our dual degree program with Notre Dame. It's a 4-1 program where students get a degree in engineering from Notre Dame, and then they can pick either mathematics, chemistry, physics, or computer science from St. Mary's. We also have a speech language pathology major, a student design major. So if you're looking at our 60 plus majors and can't find one for you, that is a customizable major that pulls from disciplines across campus. Some of our popular majors are nursing, education, business. We have a lot of pre-professional healthcare programs, pre-med, pre-vet, pre-optometry, um, and also pre-law. Those are some of our big majors at St. Mary's. And we are a women's college. We, of course, love that we're a women's college. Um, students have the example of seeing women in leadership positions. Our president's a woman. All the captains of our teams are women. We actually have a student representative who sits on the board of trustees meeting every month and shares her perspective. So you see these women doing amazing things. And we just wanted to show you guys some stats about women's colleges in general. You can see that more students who graduate go on to pursue a grad degree and more feel more feel prepared when they dive right into their career field as well. And we are part of the tri-campus community as Holy Cross mentioned. So Holy Cross is right next door to us. Notre Dame is across the street, both maybe a 10 minute walk if that. Um, between all three schools, there's about 510 clubs and organizations students can be a part of. They can hold leadership positions in these clubs. Faith and spirituality are also a huge part of who we are. We are distinctly Catholic and we are open to all faiths though, open to everyone. Um, we have a lot of service opportunities for students. About 80% of our students are involved in some type of service work at St. Mary's. And then we are division three for athletics and we have eight teams. We also have a variety of club sports between Holy Cross and Notre Dame that our students can be a part of as well as intramurals. And then over half our students study abroad. So you can see the students um, in Ireland over here on the right. And um, typically students will go their sophomore year for a semester, but we do have year long programs, week long programs, programs over um, spring break, fall break, summer break. You don't have to be a certain major to go a certain place. And it's definitely something that we're excited to get back up and running. A little bit about the admission process. So this is everything you need to apply. There's two ways you can apply to St. Mary's. We have early decision and then regular decision. Our early decision is binding. So it's a great option if St. Mary's is your number one choice. If St. Mary's is maybe a little bit lower on the list, regular decision is totally fine. They're both evaluated the same way, considered for the exact same merit scholarships. And um, we are on rolling admission. So as soon as you complete your application, it takes us about two to four weeks to get your decision back to you. But we do start reading those right away. And we really feel like the value of a St. Mary's education truly is priceless. So for financial aid, our merit scholarships actually just went up this year. So now they range from about $20,000 per year all the way to $34,000 per year. And you do find out that amount right, right away in your acceptance letter from St. Mary's. And then any grants from the FAFSA, any um, when you guys fill out that federal form, everything stacks on top, including outside scholarships. Our four-year promise basically says if it takes you longer to graduate St. Mary's than four years, we'll pay for the remaining semester or years. Um, as long as you stay on track, you work with your advisor, 93% of our students are graduating in four years. So we're really proud of them. Um, obviously, the national average is um, a lot higher than that. 
And then our rank. So we're currently rate ranked in the top 100 national liberal arts colleges and then number 47 for best value schools as well. These are just some different ways to stay engaged. We are totally open and we're doing our campus tours. We're having our senior preview days. So lots to do. We also have visits just Monday through Saturday during the academic year and then even in the summer as well. So you can sign up for anything you'd like to do at St. Mary's right on that visit link. Um, and then we do still have some virtual opportunities if it's a little bit harder for students to make it to campus as well. And if you have any questions, just feel free to send me an email. I'm your admission counselor, and I'd love to get to know you more. I'll also put my information in the chat as well. Thank you. Thank you. Our next presenter is Loyola University of Chicago. Hi, everyone. So my name is Tara Crisp. I'm a senior assistant director of admissions at Loyola University Chicago. And we'll go ahead. I'm actually an Arizona native. So um, my screen, there it goes. Okay, so let's get started. Um, just the kind of an overview of Loyola. And actually, I really like to talk about the things that make us very different than every other school in the country. And they're all wonderful schools. So I like to talk about the things that make Loyola unique and different. And um, one of those main things is going to be our students. So we are a mid-sized university. We have 11,600 undergraduate students. Um, I think it's a great size because you still get all of those, um, you know, relationships and that close-knit community, but you still have, uh, you know, big resources and things like that. Um, you can see here we have a pretty diverse student population. We have students coming from all over the globe. 46% of our students are students of color. Um, and regardless of your, uh, you know, religious faith, uh, Loyola really considers ourselves to be a home of all faiths. And we really value and embody those Jesuit traditions. So um, those are going to be more focused on being um, a person for others and global awareness and service and social justice issues. So we really believe in not only our, equip our students to be equipped ready for the workforce, but also to be citizens ready to give back to their communities and as cheesy as it sounds to make the world a better place. So the other thing that makes us very unique is that we have two distinct campuses for undergraduates in the city of Chicago. So if you're not familiar with Chicago, Chicago is the third largest city in the country. Um, but the cool thing is that you don't really feel like that when you're on our main campus. So those two pictures that you see at the top, that's our Lakeshore campus. It's nestled right along the shores of Lake Michigan, and it really creates a very traditional college experience. You've got lots of space, lots of greenery, lots of um, you know, room to roam and play. And then eight miles south is going to be our um, water tower campus. And that's going to lie right in the heart of downtown Chicago, right off of Michigan Avenue. That's going to be home to students that are studying in our School of Business, Communication, Social Work, Education, and our law school. And this is also, again, where you're really combining the best of both worlds. You have this traditional college campus, uh, and then you also have kind of a more fast paced uh, metropolitan one that's downtown. And then uh, the other thing that makes this really unique is just the overall Loyola experience. So uh, we offer over 80 different majors and minors. We offer 55 five-year dual degree programs. So that means you can stay for one extra year and get your graduate degree done. Um, I would say the areas that we're most known for nationally are going to be our health sciences. So we have a direct entry nursing program, um, biomedical engineering, pre-med, also, our School of Business is the number one undergraduate business program in the city of Chicago. Uh, access to some really awesome internships being right there in the city. Um, also, we have an entire school of environmental sustainability. So uh, we have a lot of sustainability efforts on our campus. You can see here that we are ranked the fifth greenest campus in the country this year by the Sierra Club. Last year, we were ranked third. So that's kind of a cool, important thing that all of our students get involved in. Um, other things, you know, we offer lots of clubs and activities, over 250 different student organizations. Uh, studying abroad is also very popular for our students because we really value that global education, that global awareness. So about one in three of all of our students go study abroad. Uh, we actually have our own campus abroad. We have one in Rome, Italy, and one in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. So we try to make 
studying abroad is accessible and affordable for all of our students. Uh, lastly, you'll see here that we are continuously ranked among one of the top schools for service and community engagement. Um, and we're pretty successful. 98% of our students are either employed or in grad school within three months of graduating. Um, I think that has a lot to do with our location. It has a lot to do with our reputation and it has everything to do with our students because um, they're pretty amazing. And then lastly, just a little bit about our application. So our application is available for free. That's right, it's for free. It's available on the Common App, the Coalition application or our own um, application on our website. We use a very holistic review process. We're gonna look at you as a whole person. We are test optional for the next two years, at least hopefully more going forward. And um, we are rolling admissions. So no early action, no early decision. Basically the sooner you apply, the sooner you hear back. Uh, we do have a priority deadline of December 1st that gets you priority consideration for scholarships and for admission. And you'll wanna do that because we do a lot of scholarships. Um, about 98% of our students are receiving some sort of grant and scholarship with the average package being about $30,000 a year. So um, that has put us also on the list of schools for um, best value by US News and World Report, Report excuse me. Um, and I think that's all I got for you. So I will go ahead and put my information in the chat. Would love to talk more. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Wonderful, thank you. Thank you to all of our colleges who presented great information. We are now at a really cool part of the session where we can talk about advice that we want to give to our attendees. So our very first question tonight is, what is one piece of advice that you would like to share with students who are in the college search process? I highly recommend uh, visiting your campuses of choice. If you have two or three colleges in mind, please take the time, take your parents and go and visit the campus and, and feel it. You'll kind of get the idea of whether that place is comfortable to you. My advice would be uh, to not look at the, the price tag of a school and to rule it out. Um, many of my colleagues on this uh, session uh, refer to uh, generous scholarships and financial aid that they offer. And uh, I would uh, say that absolutely uh, find out um, how that financial aid and scholarship is going to, to fit for you and your family before you rule a school off your list. Yeah, I would definitely advise students to cast a wide net. You know, don't just apply to one school, you know, cast a wide net, look at a lot of schools. Um, just, you know, you never know when you're going to find the right place. Um, and then just echoing the whole um, advice of getting on campus, because um, that's really how you find the right place for you. My advice is um, when you're looking at schools, choose schools that have the programs you're interested in, but also like, um, the other counselors have said, make sure you go and visit an experienced campus because you also want somewhere that feels like home where you'll be comfortable for the next four years. Definitely agree with the visiting campus part. I think that's so important. And like some of the other counselors just said, I think right when you kind of step foot on campus, you kind of can feel if it's the right fit and if it feels like it could be your home for the next four years. And also just to use us as your resource, we're here to help it make the process less stressful. So if you have questions, even for other departments, we're kind of like your liaison to access the rest of the college as well. Um, mine would just be to keep an open mind, um, take this opportunity. There's a lot of schools that now that are doing virtual and we're doing it very well. So, uh, for the most part, and I would say take advantage of some of these virtual resources. I know that everybody said like visit campus, visit campus, and sometimes you can't. Um, maybe there's a pandemic, maybe <laughs> you can't afford it. So um, take advantage of all of these virtual opportunities that schools are offering to you um, and keep an open mind because you can visit a school that's you know across the country or in a different country and uh, you can do that from the comfort of your couch. So Thank you. That's great advice and virtual opportunities, just like the one that we're in right now, um, you know, attending this session, but then also checking out the other sessions that are available tonight. 
All right, our next question for our college representatives is a, I think a college representative favorite. They get to brag about their school just a little bit more. Um, what's one thing you want students to remember about your school? I think for Southern Illinois University, the one thing that I want them to remember is the friendly, outgoing personality of everyone on campus and the university. It's just very comfortable. I, I think I want students to, um, to really um, connect and know what our resources are for them, um, whether it's their academic advisor, their career coach, um, academic support, uh, mental health support services. Um, I want students, when if they were to choose Augustana, to know all of the ways that they can be successful and be supported here. Um, I think one thing I've always loved about Franklin College is just how close you are with the professors. You know, they're really going to know you. They're going to know what you're involved in, what your professional goals are. I graduated in 2018, and then in fall 2020, I had professors who were still sending me job opportunities. Um, and that's just kind of that special Franklin College way. It's like they're going to really know you and care about you. For Holy Cross College, I'd say um, I want you to remember that although we're small, we're mighty. We have an incredibly supportive community between professors and all of our staff members and the other students on campus. And so if there's anything you ever need on campus or off of campus, we're here to support you. For St. Mary's, I would just say that students really have the best of both worlds. So even though we're a smaller women's college, a liberal arts college, we have Holy Cross right next door as our wonderful neighbors and then Notre Dame across the street and students have access to all three institutions. And it's a very welcoming, unique campus environment that they have um, a lot of opportunities within. And I was going to say that same thing about having the best of both worlds, that mine's going to be a little bit different. So it's going to be having the best of both worlds of being in a big city, but still having that traditional quintessential college experience. Wonderful. All great and unique things about each of your colleges. All right. We do have time for one more question. What is one myth you like to debunk on the college admission process? I think probably one of the biggest myths is the fact that students believe that it's too hard to get into college, it's too difficult, I'm not smart enough, and that couldn't be further from the truth. I'm going to piggyback on that and say uh, that's a great answer, and I think that also students feel like if they don't have straight A's, they're not going to, to get scholarships, and, uh, and, and, they, and they're, they're just so worried about their academics when many schools are, are looking at really kind of that, that whole person, and especially in the, this past year of, of COVID, where students maybe have records that look a little different than they have in the past, um, you know, talk to your college admissions counselor and, um, you know, be assured that uh, there is st there's still scholarship for you. Yeah, one thing I always want to debunk is just that it's not that stressful of a process, and you've got a lot of resources here to help you. Um, I know you've seen like TV and movies, they make it seem like the most stressful thing in the world, um, but application is designed to be easy. You've got admissions counselors here to work with you, answer all your questions, things like that. Um, so definitely, you know, just calm down and kind of enjoy the moment. I'm going to piggyback off of that answer, actually. Um, I completely agree. And even though it, it can still be stressful, um, don't worry if you have questions, please just ask them. We're here to help you. We want to help you. We're not um, the scary guy at our desk going, hmm, maybe your grades aren't quite there. No, it's we want to help you um, as you go through this process. That's why we're here. And just to advocate for yourself, kind of what everyone was saying, there's a spot on the Common App called additional information where you can put down whatever you want. So if COVID affected you or something else has affected maybe a semester, definitely share that because I think the admission committee would rather have you fill in the gaps than us assume what might have happened. Okay, that's the thing with going last. I feel like everybody spoke perfectly and I don't need to say anything else. <laughs> yeah, we're on your side. We're not mean. We're not ogres that are trying to nitpick your entire life apart. We are here to help you and we want to help. Wonderful. And I hope that our attendees truly get the message that you all are very friendly and open and ready to help 
all of these students find their journey to their college futures. So that does bring us to the end of our session. I want to um, leave you all with some housekeeping items just to remind you of all the great things that are gonna still be occurring um, this evening. So we, when you close out of this uh, session, you will receive a very quick five question survey. We appreciate any feedback that you're gonna be able to offer us there. And I wanted to encourage you, like we said, take advantage of the virtual opportunities and sign up for more sessions tonight. All right, and this recording will be available at strivescan.com slash greater Arizona. Thank you all and have a great evening.